Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at another way of drawing a perpendicular to a line through a point not on it. So till now we have been talking about drawing a perpendicular on a point P which is located on the given line. Now let's say that we want to draw a perpendicular to a line passing through a point which po then that point is not lying on that line. For example, this is a line which is given and you have to draw a perpendicular to this line such that it passes through a point P here. So point P is somewhere here. Point P is not lying on the given line but you need to draw a perpendicular which passes through point P and which is also making 90 degrees to the given line. So how would we make this construction? So in this case also we need to draw an arc such that the arc intersects the given line at two points A and B. Like earlier also what we had done considering P as the center we had drawn an arc which intersects the line at points P and B. Here also we are going to do the same thing with P as the center we will draw a circle like this and here if you see closely this circle again intersects the line at two points a and B. So these are the two points A and B. Now we will repeat exactly the same process. So with A as the center, with B as the center we draw an arc of with radius which is greater than half the length of AB. So the radius has to be greater than half the length of AB. Similarly with A as the center we draw an arc with radius greater than half the length of AB. So you see the two arcs again intersect at some point. Now again you join this point to point P. So you get a line and this line is again perpendicular to the given line. So if we call this point as M, so here also we can say that PM is perpendicular to AB. So the best way to verify this is after you have done the construction, use a protractor and try to measure the uh, value of the angle and the angle should be 90 degrees. So if it is 90 degrees, that means you have drawn the perpendicular perfectly. Now one important point to be noted while doing these kind of construction is that make sure that while doing a particular construction you do not al keep altering the uh, width of the compass. Now when I say width of the compass I mean the orientation of the two arms of the compass. For example when you draw the arc considering B as center and when you draw the arc considering A as the center the width of the compass should remain the same. So the compass should not be widened or narrowed while doing these two things. So it should be kept constant because the moment you change that, your entire calculation changes and your construction would not be appropriate. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.